So now what we want to do is add code corresponding to the ball hitting the edge. This previous code corresponding to the start button that automatically initializes the motion of the ball. So the ball automatically starts moving when this part is executed. But beyond that what we want to do is make the ball bounce off the edges. Now the blocks that we will need for this is ball and then ball dot edge reached. So as soon as you drag this as you can see over here this is an argument. So this whole thing that's a function that's an action and this edge argument that dictates which edge the ball has reached. If the value of that argument is 1, that means the top edge has reached. If it is negative 1, that means the bottom edge has been reached by the ball. If it is 3, that means the right edge has been reached, reached by the ball. If it is negative 3, the left edge and so forth. So now over here, what we will have to do is have one action which is basically to stop the game when the bottom edge is reached by the ball. So when edge is equal to negative 1, which is the bottom edge, then the game should stop. If the edge is not equal to negative 1, we should just make the ball bounce off. So in order to make that decision, whether based on whether the edge reached is negative 1 or not, in order to make any kind of decision like that, we have to have an if statement. In order to have an if statement, we go to this built-in and then we go to control and select this if else statement. Now an if else statement is a conditional statement where you do either the first part whatever is mentioned over here or the second part based on the answer of this test. So if the answer of the test is yes you do the first part. If the answer of this test question is no you do the second part. So you will require this now, as far as the test is concerned, you want this. You also want to go to my blocks, my definition, and then value edge. So what this says is, You are going to execute either the first part of this branch or the second part of this branch based on the answer of this condition. So if value is not equal to 1, that means the ball has reached either the left or the top or the right edge. So at that point, you want the ball to just bounce off. On the other hand, if the answer to this question is false, that means the bottom edge has been reached. At that point, you want to make the ball stop moving. Now in order for the ball to stop moving all you need to do is set it to disable. So set ball dot enable to false. That means the ball doesn't move anymore. And in order for you to bounce the ball you just have to use this. And you again need to add the edge to that. So now what you need to do is you need to again somehow connect all these four blocks to make the ball either bounce off the left, right and top wall or if it hits the bottom wall it should stop the movement of the ball.